In this video, I want to show you the brand new Bulk Image Importer 2.0. Now, if you have or you have seen the original version, this is a major upgrade. So I'm gonna go through the entire interface and how you can use it. So our first option is to choose a file. Now, and this is new for the 2.0, we can choose a new file to create a new file or we can click existing file and then we can choose an existing PowerPoint or open office file that you've downloaded from Google Slides, from that you've created in LibreOffice, OpenOffice, PowerPoint, Canva, wherever. And then we can choose this file here and then we can choose to insert our um, images after a certain slide. But I'll start off by showing you how to create a new file. So click new file here, and then we'll go down to our image folders here. Now you can select up to eight different folders at once. And what this will do is it will chronologically work through each folder in order and import your images with your desired settings. So your title and your images per slide. So let's give it a go. So for my folder one, let's choose Sudoku and let's enable four. So then let's do Benario and then Sudoku solutions. and then Benario Solutions. Now, if you want to import these images without a title above them, leave it blank like that. Otherwise, type in um, whatever title that you want and it will chronologically uh, number each image it imports. So for example, each Sudoku puzzle will be named Sudoku 1, Sudoku 2, 3, 4, and so on. So I'm just going to put my titles here and Sudoku Solution and Benario Solution. So once we've got this set up, my next option is how many images do I want per slide? So for each folder of images I choose, I can choose a different number. For example, for my uh, Sudoku's, I might want four of these per page. For my uh, Benario, I might want six. And then for my solutions, I may want 12 for both, like so. And once you've set that up, our next option is to choose our slide or page um, size. So by default, it's got 8.5 by 11 inches. You can of course type in whatever trim size that you want in here. And then below this, we have our image settings. So we have an option to set our top and bottom margins of the page and our left and right margins. We also have the option to type in a gutter margin here. And we have the ability to set the minimum space between images um, horizontally and vertically as well. After this, we have the option if we want to maintain our image aspect ratio, chances are you do. So leave that on yes, but if not hit no. And then finally, before we choose where we want to save our file, we can choose our font that we want to use for our titles. And you'll get a preview there. We can obviously choose the size as well the alignment and whether we want bold and or italic. So now we've got that set up, all we've got to do is hit save as. And then in here, I type puzzle. And then we can choose to either save as a PDF file, an open office presentation or a PowerPoint file. Now this program is completely independent. So you do not need LibreOffice, OpenOffice, or PowerPoint, or anything like that. You can create a PowerPoint file, for example, and then import that into Canva, or use it in LibreOffice, OpenOffice, Google Slides, lots of different programs. 
Uh, for this example, let's stick to creating a PowerPoint file. Let's call that puzzles, hit save, and then hit uh, generate. Let's wait for that to complete. And there it's done. So now if I go to my puzzles folder here, you'll see the file I've just created. So let's open that in PowerPoint. And as you can see, I have my titles with my font and formatting. I have four Sudoku's puzzles per page and I have my gutter margin, as you can see. And then after this, I have six Venario puzzles per page, like so. And then after, I have 12 Sudoku solutions per page. And then I have 12 Venario solutions per page. So I'll close that quickly and I'll go back in. I'll quickly show you uh, the existing file options. So if you've got a file already set up or perhaps you for example perhaps you've got a ton of puzzles so you've used all eight folders up importing the puzzles and you've created that and then you want to add the solutions what you can do is create um, like I say create a file with just the eight puzzles and then save it and then what you do hit existing file here and then choose the file that obviously you want to import the puzzles into and that can be a PowerPoint or open office file hit open and then you can choose after which slide you want the images to be inserted so for example if you want it at the end choose the last number and it will enter the um, images after that slide and then again exactly the same options as before Choose the images that you want to import. So for example, let's just do Kalkaduku. Let's put test. And let's do 15 per page. And obviously you can't um, set the slide settings because you're using the existing file. But you again, you have full control over the um, image settings, the margins, the gutter margin, uh, the titles, the font, etc. And then the last option here is to choose where we want to save this. So again, I'm going to do a PowerPoint file. And let's call that Puzzles 2. Hit save. And then generate. And now that's done. And let's open it here. Just wait for that to load. So let's go all the way down. And then as you can see, at the end of my file, I have my Kalkaduku puzzles imported with my titles. So I hope this quick introduction video to the bulk image importer 2.0 helps you. And I hope you enjoy the upgrade. Thank you for watching.